Welcome, everybody, to WWE Velocity. Michael Cole here alongside Corey Graves and Byron Saxton. We kick things off with John Cena against a local competitor named Brian Danielson. I gotta say, Cole, I'm surprised Cena's not rapping at all tonight. Well, that's because John Cena is focused. He's facing Brock Lesnar on SmackDown next week, and he's going to make an example of Brian Danielson right here tonight. Hits him with the uppercut. And he lands a hellacious uppercut. Leaving himself open here. Yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Wicked clothesline. John Cena has been on a roll lately. Ever since he started spitting rhymes back in October, he started to rile up all of the SmackDown locker room. Yeah, Cena has gained attention and earned some wins, but he doesn't have many friends in the back. Nobody wants to tag with a trash talker. It's got to hurt the arm. The two of you mentioned Cena's new trash-talking raps. He has so much to work with with this nerd Brian Danielson. I can't believe he didn't have a jam ready today. Well, there's a time to rap and a time to shut your mouth. When Brock Lesnar is your next opponent, it definitely better be the last. Don't tell Cena to shut his mouth, Byron. I'm good. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. This Brian Danielson guy looks a little nerdy, but apparently he's got a pretty impressive pedigree. Where'd he come from? Cole, Brian Danielson began his training with a former WWE champion, Monday Night Raw's own Shawn Michaels. Before his big comeback, HBK actually started a wrestling school, and we're seeing one of its graduates. Corey mentioned Brian Danielson training with Shawn Michaels some of that high-flying pedigree. But this kid doesn't strike me as a main event material like HBK. Anything else about his training? Well, you can also see some serious technical wrestling chops, courtesy of additional training Danielson got from one half of the World Tag Team Champions, William Regal. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Back in control of Cena, right back to the arm. Great strategy, weaken the poor, powerful Cena by taking away one of his arms. Brian sticking to his wheelhouse, not taking any unnecessary risks here against John Cena. Oh, just looking to control and neutralize the bigger man. Cena, though, back to his feet, and Brian continues to work on the arm, but now Cena, test of strength, and you don't want to get into a power battle with John. Absolutely not. Cover here. And a kick out. What? And again, Cena powering Danielson down. Wow, look at this incredible core strength by Danielson. Cena cannot believe that he can't get Danielson's shoulders on the mat. Gonna try it again, and Danielson able to reverse. And sends Cena flying. Incredible sequence. Oh, man, Cena just took Danielson's head off. As we say, sometimes there's no replacement for brute force. Look at the eyes of John Cena. The expression on his face here is very clear. We're seeing that trademark ruthless aggression from John Cena, and it's overwhelming Danielson. Danielson isn't used to the big stage, guys. Cena's got this all wrapped up. Great offense by John Cena. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look at this! Panic starting to set in for Cena. This could be a huge upset right here. I'm seeing Jade's Razor Ramon on Raw in 
1993, guys, a high-flying nobody is about to beat one of WWE's best. Cena is too distracted by Brock Lesnar on the horizon. He's got to focus on surviving this match. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. One move after the other. It's devastating. That should do it. Will he be victorious? Well, oh, that was a close call. Wow. Oh, boy, he is rolling. There it is. And with ligaments being tested, you have to wonder how long this can go on. Oh, I think this man means business. Guys, are we about to see a scrawny nerd beat John Cena here on Velocity? It's ruthless aggression's revenge, Michael. I love it. Close line. Good so, Lord. So effective. How's he getting away with this is beyond me. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Look at this. This could do it. He needs to change something fast, guys. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. A well-placed strike. to be it. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. This might be it! Oh, my! Showing off some of his speed there. Not the arm. John Cena with the offense. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Buster! Thunderous. Game, set, match. This one is over. I think I saw some teeth fly out on that one. That's how you make an impact. Strong impact from Brian Danielson. If you're Brian Danielson, what do you do at this point as he whips yeah. Cena across the ring? Oh, Cena gets up a boot just in time. And now John Cena looking to take oh. over. Looking up, put oh. Brian Danielson where he wants him. And here's the cover. And he got him. Cena with the wins over Brian Danielson. Here is your winner, John Valiant effort Cena. by Danielson, but Cena was just too much tonight. A hard-fought victory tonight for Cena. Got to be impressed with Cena tonight. We're on the inaugural episode of NXT. The World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho taking on the Miz's rookie, Daniel Bryan. I've been looking forward to this main event 
WrestleMania is on the horizon, but tonight is a, like a WrestleMania of sorts for all the NXT rookies. Well, Daniel Bryan was excited earlier in the night to be out on the biggest stage of his life, but that was before he knew he was going to face the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going to have to learn to take Miz's advice if he wants to survive here. Chris Jericho's on the attack now. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. I have to admit the NXT rookies have been fairly feisty tonight with their WWE pros, to say the least. But there's been no bigger offender than Daniel Bryan. A bit of ungratefulness shown on the part of Daniel Bryan. To say he wasn't pleased to have The Miz as his WWE Pro was the real slap in the face tonight. Returning to Daniel Bryan not wanting The Miz as his pro, I do see Bryan's point. Daniel has a career performing in the ring that is twice as long as The Miz. But he hasn't been. He's got him covered. And Brian gets the shoulder up. Nice kick out. Emotions have been running high all night, guys. Daniel Bryan has to put everything that happened earlier in the rearview mirror and focus on Chris Jericho. So damaging. I've got to say, I'm surprised to see Bryan actually testing the champion here a bit. It must be the inspiration from The Miz that's propelling this offense. Dropkick! Great athleticism. Oh, shoulder breaker! Got the leg clearly on a mission here. When this guy's on, Ooh. look out. Elbow drop, big time. He goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Nope, to beat the Ayatollah of rock and roll up, that's not gonna do it. Shoulders on the mat. With this being the first night of NXT, the whole purpose of this show is to find the next... There's no way that Jericho's gonna lose to this guy. Yeah, but the way this match is going, it's a real possibility. Oh. Jericho, though, needs a breather, and he rolls out of the ring to try to do that. A wise maneuver from a wily veteran. Uh, I'm not sure if Jericho's gonna get much rest time. What's this oh, guy Brian? doing? Daniel! Oh! Oh! Suicide dive! Right off the announce desk! Looks like Brian might have bounced off the announce desk himself. I don't think Miz liked the fact that Brian threw his body in harm's way, and I, I can't say I blame him. What's this guy thinking? Five. You know, Byron, I have to wonder if Daniel Bryan is still thinking about earlier tonight when his pro mentor, Miz, slapped him across the face. Well, any man that gets slapped has got to carry that embarrassment for some time, especially with it coming on your first day on the job. That's something Yoshi Tatsu taught you, Byron? Miz did say he was going to slap some personality into his rookie. Guys, you're getting ahead of yourself. Oh, no. Some sort of oh, boy. See, I told you. Oh, boy. This one's over now. Roll him into the walls of Jericho. Tap him out, Chris. Ryan's trying to fight it. Rolls through. What a counter by the technician there. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Heel hook is in. Jericho's in trouble. Jericho oh, trying. Is he going to tap? Is he going to tap? He may have no choice. He made, he made it to the bottom rope. You've got to be impressed, Michael, from what we're seeing from Daniel Bryan. Did he win yet, Byron? Daniel Bryan thinks he... Oh! Moonbreaker! You can't allow a veteran like Jericho any time to recover. You're right, Corey. That was a rookie move. And now he's going to pay for it, Byron. That may, very well may be the case, Michael. This loser's going to lose again. Uh, Lion Tamer! Can Bryan hold on? Tap out! You got your wish, Cole. Daniel Bryan fought valiantly, but just couldn't hang with the champion. champ.
Yeah, this time, Jericho! experience was just too much for Daniel Bryan. And listen, Miz has got to be so disappointed, and I don't blame him. Luck of the draw, Miz got this loser to be his protege, and now Miz a little bit of tough whoa, love here. Whoa, whoa. Tough love? Give me a break. Tough love. This is ridiculous. Miz is obviously frustrated with his star pupil. Oh, oh yeah, so you're frustrated, so that's okay. Now you can beat him up? Yeah, start winning some matches, then he won't get beat up anymore. That's ridiculous. This is my thing. Huh? I'm a champion. Miz has lost his mind. Lying on his back, looking at the lights again. Oh, wow. The Miz and Daniel Bryan have been polar opposites throughout their careers, making for a fierce rivalry. But the weird part is that the indie darling Daniel Bryan began in WWE as a protege of reality star The Miz on NXT. Miz and Daniel Bryan were teammates in name only. You know, some NXT pairings, like myself and Dolph Ziggler, had excellent pro-rookie relationships. Miz and Bryan, however, hated each other from the very start. You two brought up that acrimonious relationship between the Miz and Daniel Bryan. Miz abused Bryan, and Bryan fought back, taking Miz's spot in the SummerSlam main event, and then his United States Championship just a month later. After laying dormant for a few years, the Miz and Daniel Bryan's hatred resurfaced in the infamous Talking Smack segment. After Daniel Bryan returned to action and pulled strings to get The Miz moved to SmackDown Live, you know, this rivalry is far from over, even after eight years. He's just so dominant. Gets with the clothesline. Between his championship, his briefcakes, and his media obligations, Miz is slipping just a little here. He'll bounce back. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Takes him down in a major way, too. Daniel Bryan may only be eight months into his WWE career, but this is a decade-long journey for Bryan that could lead to his first taste of WWE gold here at Night of Champions. It was March of 2000 when Daniel Bryan made his debut on the independent scene under the wing of Shawn Michaels, and we might see Bryan make his first strides towards HBK-level success if he can defeat The Miz tonight. Look out! He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. This is going to be big, one way or another. Every title's on the line here tonight at Night of Champions. The Miz is no stranger to championships. At one point, he held the U.S. title and the Tag Team Championship simultaneously. And that briefcase is a near-guaranteed WWE Championship win. Okay, Michael, I know where you're going to go with this. I know what you're trying to lead to. Yes, Daniel Bryan hasn't won a title here yet, but he's only been on the roster for eight months. Give him time. The two of you discussed Miz's longer title reign resume than Daniel Bryan, but I have to point out that Daniel Bryan just did something Miz hasn't done yet. He made event at SummerSlam. Look at this. And it's The Miz able to stop the count. Gonna take a whole lot more. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's flipped a switch, that's for sure. Now we have Daniel Bryan on the attack. A well-placed kick. So painful. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. I believe Daniel Bryan has a strong chance of winning tonight. The guy was trained by Shawn Michaels, who must have taught Bryan a thing or two about high-pressure matches. What has happened to you, Corey? You've turned into another Saxton. Yeah, and Daniel Bryan was also trained by The Miz. Quite frankly, Bryan should have listened to The Miz. The Miz is looking at this. Floored by the neckbreaker. Now he's got to capitalize. He could do it here. An easy kick out there. Too early in the match to end it. You know what? I take back what I said about Daniel Bryan potentially winning NXT. The champion into the cover. Daniel Bryan kicks out easily. Not even close.
Well, what happens if the, if the Miz comes up short here tonight against Daniel Bryan? Well, it hasn't happened yet, has it, Byron? Uh, it could be on the verge of occurring. Daniel Bryan from the top rope. Miz is in trouble. Yeah, but look at the Miz fight back. What a warrior. Oh, 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 oh. Great wherewithal from the Miz. Daniel Bryan hung out to dry. Oh, no! Just like that, the Miz has turned the tides in this matchup. This is what I'm talking about. The champion into the cover. And Bryan gets the shoulder up. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? man standing. And I'll tell you, the roof nearly blew off this place in Rosemont when the bell finally rang to end 